Well, look who it is. That's right, it's me. And before I start this video, I would like to apologize to you guys for not uploading a new video in such a long time. Now, the reason for that, which most of you guys probably know, if you've been watching my videos for a while, is I am in college, which means that I don't live at home. I go away for school. And when I go away to college, I don't bring with me my tripod or my camera in order to do my YouTube videos. So that's the reason why I haven't been doing any new YouTube videos for you guys. And the other reason is, since I am in college, I have to do a lot of studying so I don't have time to make videos for you guys. Because school is my number one priority. So I'm so sorry for that. But what I try to do is every time I come home for the weekend or I'm home for a break, I try to do a new video for you guys. Now, actually, as of right now, I'm on my fall break. I actually started my fall break last Wednesday. So I've been on fall break since Wednesday. But I haven't had time to make any videos for you guys since I've been home. But I have the chance now to make a video for you guys. So I thought I'd make one. Now, this video is going to be like a monthly favorites video. But it's not a monthly favorites video. Because I know a lot of YouTubers do monthly favorite videos where they talk about all the things they love during that month. But the reason why I don't do those kind of videos is because I like the same thing month after month. And I know if you do a monthly favorites video, you have to like new things each month. I mean, you can still like the old thing after like new things as well. But for me, I like the same thing month after month and don't really like a whole lot of new things each month. So I can't do like monthly favorite videos. But this video is a what I have been loving at the moment type of video. So it's like a monthly favorites video. But instead, ugh, instead, <laughs> instead it is a what I've been liking at the moment video. And some of the things I've been liking have to do with like candy, music, books, just a whole bunch of different categories. So, I hope you enjoy this video and let's just get on with the video. So, the first thing I've been liking this month is a book and I just finished this book and it was so good. It's actually a series. It's three books to the series and I just loved the first book and I just finished it the other day actually and that book is The Red Queen by Victoria Avion. Now this book is very good and I recommend you read it because one, if you don't like romance books, there's a little bit of a romance in this book but it's not like the whole book is a romance. But if you like fantasy books and you like books that have like people that have like special abilities, then you're going to love this book. And if you like Siri, then you'll like this book as well. But let me read to you the back, which has a synopsis of the, a summary or a synopsis of the book. And let me read it to you guys so you guys kind of know what the book is about. So Mare Barrow, which is the girl the book is about. So Mare Barrow's world is divided by blood. Those with red and those with silver. Man and her family are loyally reds, destined to serve the silver elite whose supernatural abilities make them nearly gods. Mare steals what she can to help her family survive, but a twist of fate leads her to a royal palace itself, in front of the king and all, her, all his nobles. She discovers an ability she didn't know she had, except her blood is red. To hide this impossibility, the king forces her into the role of a lost silver princess, and bestows her to one of his own sons. As Mare is drawn further into the silver world, actions put into motion a deadly and violent dance, pitting prince against prince and Mare against her own heart. So, to really summarize this, it's basically about a girl named Mare who has a special ability that she's not supposed to have because the Reds aren't supposed to have any special abilities. They're supposed to be normal, like I guess you can say like me and you are. But the silvers, which are people that have silver blood instead of red, they're like the high up. They're like the kings and the queens and all that. They actually have special abilities. Like some of them can read minds. Some of them can do things metal. Which they have all different types of abilities. But the reds aren't supposed to have any abilities because they're supposed to be like you and me. 
But this girl finds out she has a special ability, and so the king and the queen want to keep that to themselves and make it look like she was actually a silver instead of a red. And so it caused all these issues and stuff. So that's basically what the book is about. How she has a special ability she's not supposed to have. And how she ends up dealing with that. So I hope you check out this book because it is really good. There's two more books in the series which I know I'm going to check out because this book was really good. So I hope you guys check this book out because if you love fantasy books and if you love people with that have like special abilities, like those type of books, then you'll definitely like this book. So please check this book out. The next thing I have been loving, which kind of goes with this month, which is October, is candy. And it's one candy in particular, and that is Sour Patch Kids. Now the reason why I've been loving this candy is because the one YouTuber I watch called Alicia Marie, she actually just recently went on tour and she did like vlog videos of when she was on tour. And in one of the videos she said that a lot of her fans have been giving her sour gummy worms and stuff. So as I was watching her videos I heard her talk about that and I was like okay maybe I'll try that and see if I like it or not. But when I went to the store they didn't have a big bag of sour gummy worms at the store they only had a little bag and I wanted a big bag. So instead I saw they had a big bag of Sour Patch Kids so I ended up getting that and I ended up loving the candy. Now I'm not that big into sour foods or sour candy or anything sour but this was oh my god this candy is so good. Now I must warn you that the green candy is the sourest so if you eat the green ones, just be prepared that the sourest. And every time I eat that candy, I always make a face because I don't do well with sour foods. But I just love that candy. And also, I watch Dance Mom on Tuesdays. And every time I've been watching the show, I've been eating that candy. So it's kind of like a tradition now, I guess you could say. But I have to go to the store and buy more of that candy because I ran out. So that's what I'll be doing when I get back to school is buy more of that candy. But yes, so if you're looking for candy to buy for Halloween, I recommend you get Sour Patch Kids because they are very good. I give them two thumbs up. So just check out that candy. And I've just been loving that candy this month. Well, not this month, but this pet. I've been loving that candy as of right now. So, the next thing I have been loving in the moment is actually having to do with music and I've fallen in love with about three songs at the moment and you guys probably know these songs because they're very popular. Now the first song I've been loving at the moment is called Cool Girl by True Love and the reason why I've been loving this song as of right now is because the song is very catchy so I just love singing along to it. And I just love dancing to it. And it's just one of those songs when, I, when it comes on the radio or it comes on when I play Pandora. I just instantly start singing along to it. I just love it. And the next, well let me actually play some of that song for you guys. For those of you that don't know that song, it's really catchy. And if you don't know the song, I recommend you check it out. It's really good. Let me find it for you. So that is the song Cool Girl by True Love. And as you could tell, I could not help but sing along and dance to the song. I just think it's so catchy. So I do hope you check out that song because it's very catchy. But the music video is a little strange. But the song is actually very good. I actually like it. I like it a lot. Now the second song I've been loving at the moment, which I know a lot of people have been liking at the moment, is called Closer by the Chainsmokers. Now that song is just, oh my god, I just love that song so much. I listen to it all the time. If not listening to this song, Cool Girl. But I listen to that song all the time. I cannot help singing along to it. It's just so good. 
And I also, the third song I actually like is also by the Chainsmokers, but it features Phoebe Tonkin. No, Phoebe Ryan. Phoebe Ryan, not Phoebe Tonkin. Ugh. Phoebe Ryan, and it's called, um, what's it called? I just listened to it the other day. All We Know. Here we go. It's called All We Know. And if you haven't checked out the new song, it's really good. Let me play it a little for you guys. So that's the song All We Know by the Chainsmokers featuring Phoebe Ryan. Now I know a lot of people don't like this song because they don't like Phoebe Ryan's voice, but I really like this song because it's really catchy. I'm actually getting into the Chainsmokers. I've been listening to a bunch of their songs now and I think they're really good. So I do hope you check out that song as well. Now the next thing. I have been getting into at the moment is web series. Now web series, for those of you who don't know what they are, are they're basically like TV shows but only you can only watch them through the internet and you can't watch them on TV. And I've been getting into two web series at the moment in particular and they're both on the website called Go90 and you just have to go in your search bar and type in Go90.com and basically Go90 has all these different shows you can watch but it's only shows you can watch on that website online. You can't watch them on TV because it's not a TV, um, what do you call it? TV, um, program stuff, so you can't watch it on TV. But the two shows I've been really getting into are the first one is called Guidance, which actually they have, um, three of the episodes of Guidance on YouTube if you want to watch them on there first and it's basically about this girl who she has a um I guess I can say unflattering picture of her no I wouldn't say unflattering I'll say inappropriate picture taken of her that but it gets bleak well, it's, she, well basically it's about this girl who takes an inappropriate picture of herself but it ends up getting leaked on this app that this guy made and stuff. So then the guidance counselor of this, because all the people at her school had got the app and they all saw her picture. And so the guidance counselor at that school is trying to figure out who leaked that photo or who shared that photo. So that's basically what the whole show is about, how the guidance counselor is trying to find out who leaked that photo onto that app. So, it's actually a very interesting show because each episode shows the guidance counselor talking to somebody different from that knew the girl at the school and how, and seeing if they leaked the photo or not. So basically through the whole, it's only had one season so far. Basically the whole season you're trying to figure out who leaked the photo. So like each episode, She'll be the guidance counselor talking to somebody new, and you'll be like thinking, oh, maybe they leaked the photo. Or maybe in the next episode, you'll be like, oh, maybe this person leaked the photo instead of the person in the episode before that. So I do hope you check out that web series because it is very good. I highly recommend it. Now, the second web series I recommend is also on that website, Go90, and it is more of a well, um, guidance has been on there for a while. But it only has one season so far. It hasn't done the second season yet. But this one, next one that I'm recommending to you guys is more new. And they just finished their first season. And it is so good. I like binged watch it because they had new episodes every Tuesday. And it is so good. And it is called Tagged. Called Tagged. Now, what Tagged means is... If you like take a picture, let's say on faith no, on Instagram, let's say on Instagram, you upload a picture and has the icon or that thing that says, oh, tag people in this photo, which basically say who's in the photo or in stuff. So basically what this show is about, how these three girls get tagged in this video by this guy who starts terrorizing them and like trying to leak all their st deepest, darkest secrets and stuff. And so through the whole show, the girl's trying to figure out who is this guy. 
but he doesn't like show his face. He wears a mask, so he goes by, um, I don't want to say the guy's name, because I guess it, well, they say it in the show, but I don't want to say, um, it is to tell you guys watch it, but he wears this mask, so he goes by this other name and stuff, so through the whole show, we're trying to figure out who is the guy behind the mask. So, I do hope, and throughout the, actually, throughout the show, each episode, something happens to the girls. Like, the guy, like, does something to them. So, it's really, like, interesting, the show. So, I do hope you check out both of these web series, because they are just so good. So, check out Guidance, and check out, um, Tag, because they're both really good web series. And I'll try to remember to link them in my description box down below. So you guys can go check them out because they're just so good. So, those are the things I have been loving at the moment. It's not a lot of things I've been loving at the moment. Just a few things. But I thought I would share them with you guys because I thought maybe you guys would be interested in them. Or maybe some of you guys would like them as well. So, I hope you liked this video and give it a thumbs up if you like this video now my dance for this week which um, let me find it I had it on here um, it goes to the song these are a few of my favorite things which is from the musical sound and music and actually a lot of people well some people consider this song a Christmas song which I don't really consider it a Christmas song but yes so this is called J C D N G A, my favorite things 2011 teen small group dance, and it's about this dance. Well, not about. <laughs> it's this dance from this um dance competition, and it's by the Jersey K Dance and Gymnastics Academy. And it's actually a really good dance, and I think you yeah it's a really good dance. So I hope you guys check this dance out. I know you guys will like it. And if you like the song, then I know you'll like the dance. So check out this dance. Now my quote for this week is... Is... Now my quote for this week is... <laughs> Surround yourself with the things you love. Discard the rest. So, the reason why I chose this quote is because... One, in this video I was talking about all the things I love in the moment right now. And two is because this quote means don't have anything in your life that upsets you. Like don't have like let's say you have um, a food for example that makes you sick but you keep eating it. Don't keep eating that food. Get rid of it. Just only have in your life things that make you happy and things that you love. Which also goes with how people say don't surround yourself with negativity. So that's what the quote means to me. Don't surround yourself with negativity. So I hope you like this video and I hope you like learning about some of the things I'm loving at the moment. So I hope you give this video a thumbs up, a big thumbs up if you like this video. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're already not subscribed to my channel. For more